Hi, I'm Maddie. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to make steel cut oats in the Instant Pot. So what exactly are steel cut oats, you may be asking. Let me show you. So steel cut oats are basically oats in their least processed form. You may be familiar with like quick cooking oats or rolled oats, and those are similar. Quick cooking are the most processed, and then you have rolled oats, which are lightly steamed and then pressed into that like flake shape. If you only have access to those, I would still choose those over the quick cooking oats. And then you have steel cut, which is where they just take the whole oat, the raw oat, and cut it with steel blades. That's why they're called steel cut. And then they get this little tiny shape, kind of like broken rice almost. And they say that they are the best for you. So that's why I bought them. I've been cooking these in the Instant Pot lately. It's very, very easy, which I love. And it makes for a really good meal prep. I make it usually on a Sunday afternoon and I add in my berries and my apples or whatever fruit I have. And then I store it in the fridge and then I serve it out each morning for my breakfast. So I eat oats pretty much every day. They're a good source of fiber, protein, iron, potassium, and they keep you full for a really long time. So they're great to have for a breakfast food. I like to have this usually with some berries, which we're going to add in today. Or you could do like a little spoonful of peanut butter. You can add some chopped nuts. There are many, many ways to eat oats, as I'm sure you probably know. But today's combination, we're going pretty basic. We're just going to add some cinnamon and some previously frozen raspberries and strawberries and apples. Now, I believe that there is a common misconception about Instant Pots that makes it sound like they cook food instantly, <laughs> which they really do not, especially if you're pressure cooking something. It takes a while to bring the Instant Pot up to pressure and then it will start the cook time. So even though the cook time for these steel cut oats is only four minutes, it actually takes a little bit longer than that. But the one good thing that I love about the Instant Pot is you can just set everything in there and then walk away. And you don't have to babysit it, you don't have to watch it, it'll beep, beep, beep when it's done and you can stir in your fruit at that time. So. It is not instant, but it is easy. If you were to do these on the stove top, it'd be about 25 to 30 minutes, I believe. And then of course, rolled oats take a little bit less time. Those are about like 10 or 15 minutes. And instant oats are of course instant. So the cooking time also varies depending on which type of oat you choose. But to get the most nutritional benefits, we're going for the steel cut today. Okay, let's make it. Okay, so we're just gonna cook two cups of steel cut oats, which makes about, I think about three or four days worth for myself and my husband. We just keep it in a big Tupperware and then scoop out in the morning whatever we are eating for that day. And it makes breakfast go a lot faster. So that's my tip for today. Two cups of steel cut oats. Let's add our five cups of water now. We are going to add one stick of cinnamon. This is optional, but cinnamon is delicious and also really good for you. You can also use powdered cinnamon. I don't think that really matters. This is just easy. You can throw it in at the beginning of the cook time and be done with it. Okay, so once the lid is on and your nozzle is pointed towards sealing, not venting, uh, you just wanna start the timer. You press pressure cook. Make sure it's set to four minutes. You adjust it if you need to. I always take it off of keep warm, but I guess you don't have to if you don't want to. I just feel like it keeps it cooking when I use keep warm, so I take it off. And then it'll start by itself. So like I said, this will take a little time to come up to pressure and then it'll cook in four minutes after that. And then we will chop up our apples, add our fruit in at the end, and that's pretty much it. Yay! Okay, the Instant Pot just beeped that it is finished, and actually that was really fast. I timed it, it was only 14 minutes from pressing on until beeping to off. 
So that was a lot faster than I thought. That was a lot more instant than I thought. Anyway, we're just going to chop up these apples and add them in. Usually you can wait until the pressure releases naturally, but since I want the apples to get kind of soft, I like to put them in while everything's still really, really hot in there and then put the lid back on. I tried putting the apples in during the cook cycle one time and they just got obliterated. So I learned that one the hard way. I just throw them in at the end now along with the fresh berries or whatever other kinds of add-ins you want. Any toppings that I do, I save until the day of. For example, when I make my bowl in the morning, I usually top it with a couple nuts and flax seeds and chia. But that, I find you can wait until you make your bowl or, I mean, you can do it now. It's up to you. Okay, so let's chop these apples. Okay, the apples are ready. We're just going to release the steam and then stir everything in. Here we go. Okay, do not be alarmed. It looks really wet when you first take off the lid unless you let the pressure release naturally. So since I took the lid off early, that's why it looks really wet, but we're just going to add in the fruit and put the lid back on and then the oats will soak up a little bit more moisture and it'll become the perfect consistency. This is about two cups of fruit, but it's up to you. Oh, and two apples. It's a lot of fruit. I like fruit. So just like gently stir in your fruit. If you happen to see your cinnamon while you're in there, you can pull him out. Ooh, hot, 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 be careful. <laughs> this is looking pretty good already, so we're just going to put the lid back on. And you can actually unplug it at this point because it's not cooking anymore. It's just kind of soaking up any last bits of water. And then I'll just let it sit for another maybe five, 10 minutes and then take off the lid again, let it cool down and put it into my Tupperware. And that's it, it's ready to serve. Any time of day you have steel cut oats on demand with fruit already mixed in. Super, super easy, very, very healthy and delicious my three favorite things. In case anyone is interested, I will just post the cost breakdown for this recipe as well as the nutritional info. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe. I'm making new videos every week. I am scouring the internet for vegan recipes, whole food plant-based recipes, and I'm making them for you. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye.